Cool. So with these sessions, uh, first of all, I want you just to do the best you can, especially if you're new here and you haven't tried it before. It may be doing some things that are a little bit different if you already do some exercise. So it may be, you know, difficult for the first sessions, couple of sessions, but as you get into it in the next couple of weeks, you will start to get a bit more used to it and you'll get your body will adapt to the sessions that we're doing. But at any point, if you just need to take a rest, take a break, have a drink, whatever it is, feel free to do so. Also, just do the best you can on each exercise that we're going to be performing today. So if there's something that you can't quite do, just do a reduced version of it. I'm going to be showing you adaptations as we go through. But in our group here, we've got a whole wide range of ability levels and we try to adapt the best we can for everybody. So don't worry if it doesn't look exactly like what I'm doing. Just do the best that you can do as we go through this. And that goes for the range of motion, the intensity level or whatever it is that we may be doing. So just take it in your own time, take it your own pace, your own ability, and just push yourself however that looks for you. Um, with today, uh, we will be using one piece of equipment and that is a pole. Don't worry if you don't have a pole, it's not a problem because you can get one ready for next week. But for those who do have a pole, or I know Liz tends to uh, put out the message beforehand. Essentially, just something you can hold in two hands, roughly about shoulder width apart, and we'll be going and using that in a little bit. We won't use it just for the quite for the warm up yet. So if you've got that, you can pop it to the side, and yeah, that's all we'll be using. But if you don't have a pole, again, I'll be showing you how to do the exercises without the pole as well, because I know some of you. I either don't have a bowl or can't use one. So that's where we are. Cool. Okay. So we are going to get started with a warm up first of all. And to do this, I want to make sure you've got plenty of space around you. So you're not going to hit anything or anyone because we're going to be moving our arms around in a circle just like so. So getting that arm one round the best that you can. So as I've got here, I'm just going nice circles here but if you can't do full circles like this we can do it's just a reduced version or even if it's just a little version down below just moving it around the best you can excellent looking good there and we're just sending the uh, all the good stuff to the joints by getting it moving, starting to lubricate that shoulder joint, getting the tendons, the ligaments, the muscles, everything primed and ready for the little bit harder stuff that we're going through today. With that same arm, let's go the opposite direction now. And again, if you can't do that full circle, you can come a little bit smaller, just doing what you can there with what you've got available to you. Okay, let's switch over to the other side, get this one going around as well. And just like the other side, just doing the best you can. Doesn't matter if one side is more mobile or active than the other, just doing what you can with what you've got on each side. Maybe with that same arm, let's go the opposite way around. Okay, now what we're going to do is the best we can, we're going to reach over towards the opposite shoulder. If you can't do that, then just come as far as you can. If that's the near shoulder, that's fine. But if you can't quite do that as well, you can always come across the front instead. So again, your options are all the way over as far as you can. 
or come across the front, which may be preferred if you've got any shoulder issues. Coming across the front. Essentially what we're doing here is we're getting that elbow bend in there along with the shoulder movement to mobilize the next joint up. Yeah, we're going to take one arm here now, swing it forward. We're going to reach up the best we can and bringing it down. And just like before, we reach out the best we can. So if you can get that arm all the way above your head, that's great. But if not, if it's only up to head height, chest height, wherever you get to, reaching it up the best you can and swinging it back down. Good. Switching arms over to the other side and again reaching up wherever you can get to. And if you see me looking off to the side, that's because my screen is off to the side here and I can keep my beady little eyes on you, making sure I can uh, guide you the best I can through this session. And as always with these as well, like it's obviously very helpful for me to be able to see you on camera. But if you don't want to have your camera switched on, that's absolutely understandable. Excellent. Okay, now what we're going to do is give ourselves a hug, arms out to the side, and repeat through. So coming in, swinging out eating through and that's just involving these chest muscles a little bit involving those upper back muscles as well Good. Okay, we're going to do some shoulder rotations now, either direction. And change direction. Give that a little bit of a shake off there. Good. If you've got your poles, if you could grab them now, be fantastic. I'm just setting up a timer here on my phone. Well, I've got it set up. I'm just making sure that we can hear it. Okay. So what we're going to do now, we've done our first part of our warm up, which is the mobility drill. So it's just getting everything moving that we need to, or the joints. All the muscles, bones, ligaments, tendons, all that good stuff, a little bit more warmed up. Now we're going to bring the heart rate up as well with a, a little bit of work here. So with the pole or without, as I'll show you through this, we're going to be going 14 minutes. Every minute we're going to be changing the exercise 
but we're going to be going five out of 10 effort. So it's not hard, it's not easy. It's kind of somewhere in between, but just nice and gently builds that heart rate up. Okay, so we're going here in 15 seconds time and we will get going with the first exercise, which is going to be some paddling like we're in a kayak. And we'll be going in four, three, two, one, off Let's we go. go. So getting those arms moving and getting to a point where you feel like you're about five out of 10 effort. And don't worry if that doesn't quite make sense to you yet. Over the next coming weeks, you'll get a bit more idea of what five out of 10 should be like. To begin with, you might go a little bit too slow, maybe a little bit too fast, but that's not a problem. We're just on a learning curve here to get to the point where that feels like a natural place to be. Halfway there. Good. Okay. Halfway through this first minute, keeping those arms going. Excellent work, everybody. If you don't have the pole, as I said, you've got a few options as well. And you just do the same movement just without the pole. So that's it. What you got if you don't Ten have seconds. one. If you're just going doing a single arm variation as well, you could have that as an option. But in three, two, one, we're going to change direction and keep it moving, but in reverse now. And again, we've got with the pole, we've got without the pole. You can do it single arm as well if you need to. But just moving it around the best you can. Excellent work. And because it's the first session of a new block, I say we've been doing this for a long time, so there's a lot of regulars, but there are a lot of new people. Go keep today's session nice and basic. Halfway there. But in the next coming weeks, we'll be introducing a few different things. Some you might like, some maybe not so much, <laughs> but they will be good. And... Uh, but yeah, I like to mix it up. So every session I like to do is a little bit different seconds. from the others. Okay, so we've got five seconds to go on the next one. We're going to do both rounds together. Three, two, one. Not so three. both round together, forwards now. Just like so. Excellent work. Keep that going. And again, you've got with the pole. Without the pole, single arm if you need to. And even if it's, you know, you're one size stronger than the other and you can, you know, sort of get it round to Halfway there. It doesn't have to look pretty as long as you're staying pain free or relatively pain free through the movement. Then that is good for me. But I would say I'm not a uh, I'm not a drill sergeant. You'd have to do it exactly perfect. Ten seconds. This is your session. You do it the best way that you can do it. Okay, we will be changing direction in three, two, one. So Enough. change the movement round the opposite way, and keep it going. And the same applies here with the pole, without single arm. Just doing what you can here to get it moving round. And to be honest, we, uh, we would get the same benefit from doing exactly the same exercise all the way through this 14. I like just to mix it up every minute, just to keep it a little bit more interesting. Halfway there. And just to move our arms in a slightly different way as well. So it has some, does have a few additional benefits changing it, but the main one, just to try and keep things a little bit interesting and not just doing the same thing repeatedly. Okay, on the next one, we're going to go into Ten seconds. a canoe-like movement. So we're going to be paddling down to the left to start with, and I'll show you that when we get into it. Three, two, one. So we take our pole, and as if we are paddling down to the side. Just like so. And if you don't have a break on like myself, on one side, you actually will start moving along. <laughs> Half 
Halfway there. Halfway through this minute. Keeping that arm moving. Nice and controlled. Excellent work, everybody. Yeah, if you don't have that pole, it's the same movement. But without the pole. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. So switching over now in three, two, one, over to the other side. And keep it going. And you should be able to hear my timer as well. That countdown is the beeping going into each minute. You'll hear a halfway one, and you'll hear one. I think the 10 seconds to go on went off as well. Um, but yeah, that's just guiding me through. So I don't have to count. <laughs> So I'm not counting seconds. <laughs> Next. Halfway there. Halfway through this one. Looking good so far. Keeping it moving. Excellent. On the next one, we're going to do a double arm punching forwards movement. I'll show you that when we get into it. In 10 seconds time. 10 seconds. Four, three, two, one. So get both arms forwards and back. Just going back and forth. Excellent work. Cool. And then again with the pole. You've got without. Or if you need to do it single arm as well, you can do that single arm variation. Excellent. And even if it looks a bit, you know, one arm goes further forwards than the other or whatever it may be, that's absolutely fine. If that's halfway there, what you can do, that's what you can do. Okay, 15 seconds to go. On the next one, we're going to do the same movement, but instead of going forwards. Seconds. We're going to go up above our heads, or the best we can, because I understand that's not always possible. Three, two, one. So you're going back now. And if you can reach up above your head, that's great. If you can only get to your head, that's also fine. If you can only get to your chest height, whatever you can do here, that's great. Or if you can do it and you just need to go slightly forwards as you go, that's also fine. I'm happy with what adaptations you need to make. Yeah, we're halfway through this one now. Good, okay, 15 seconds to go. On the next one, we're gonna combine the previous two. So we're going to go seconds. forwards, then up, forwards, then up. In four, three, two, one. So go forwards, up, forwards, up. Just like so. Excellent work. Now, if you are going at a five out of ten pace, you should feel a little bit warmer now. You should have a slightly elevated heart rate, maybe breathing just a little bit more. If you don't feel like you're quite there, you can always pick up that pace just a little bit. Halfway there. Or if you feel like you're, you know, already out of breath, already struggling, then just back it off slightly to bring it into that five out of 10 level. Okay. 10 seconds. 10 seconds to go. On the next one, we're going to be doing circles in a clockwise direction. And I'll show you that in three, two, one. So we come round in a circle, clockwise direction. Excellent work. And five out of 10 effort is going to look different on different days as well. There's going to be some days that you're feeling tired and it's harder to get moving. There's days that for lack of a better term, our disability kicks in and uh, we can't quite do it at the same base that we normally do. 
And there's going to be some days that you feel better as well. So just adjust it to whatever you feel on the day, whatever feels like five out of 10 effort. But the more we do this over the coming weeks, the more you'll have an understanding of how it should feel. 10 seconds. Okay, we'll be changing direction in three, two, one. Switch the nose, anti-clockwise now. And keep it going. So we're on number 11 now of 14. So we've got a few more to go before we move on. So this is all about building the heart rate up, getting the blood flowing, getting the core body temperature up. And then after this, we're going to pick up that pace a little bit, but I'll explain that as we get into it in a halfway there. few minutes from now. We're halfway through this one. Looking good so far from the ones I can see. On the next one, we're going to do one where we're punching forwards again, but instead of seconds. both arms together, we're alternating the hands. In four, three, two, one. So you get one hand forwards, other forwards, and then repeating through. Try and get good extension if you can. If you can't, just get to where you can with those. Arms. Great work so far, though. And I will remind you, if you do need to take a break at any point, that is absolutely fine. Halfway there. And if you need to just back it off for a second or have a drink, I am more than okay. Fifteen seconds to go on the next one. Same movement, but we're going to up above our heads, or at least the best we can. In three, two, one, to go up. Good. We've got two more here. So this is the penultimate one now. Yeah, you can't fully extend that arm above your head, wherever you can get to, even if it's down low, that's fine. Halfway there. Halfway through. We've got one more to go. And on the last one, we're going to do one called down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. And I'll explain that as we get into it. For those who don't know what it is. 10 seconds. 10 seconds. Three, two, one. So on this one, we climb down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. Then repeat through down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up. And then just keep going through. And don't worry if you get confused with this. Everybody does when they get started on it. It's got to use our brain at the same time as moving. And halfway through Wait, this one. Again, it's down, down, forwards, forwards, up, up, or at least the best you can again if, if you can't fully extend above your head or forwards or whatever it may be. Just do what you can. And coming into the end of this little block. Ten seconds. Ten seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Good. Okay, let's grab ourselves a drink. I'm going to set up the next timer. And we're going to pick up that pace a little bit on the next bit here.
So next, we're going to be doing some intervals. So what an interval is, is where we do periods of some hard work and some periods of rest and alternate between the two. So for this, we're going to be doing the most basic form or the easiest to understand form of this, which is going to be 10 rounds. We do 30 seconds of maximum effort, the best you can do. And then we'll have 30 seconds of rest. And each time we come around to a hard bit again, we will be changing up the exercises like we did on the last one. So we're going through the same exercise as we just did for 10 rounds. So it's a total of 10 minutes, 30 seconds of maximum effort, 30 seconds of rest, repeating through 10 times. Um, and I'll be here going you every step of the way. So if all that sounds confusing, you'll understand it as we get into it. Cool. Okay, we are going here in 15 seconds time. We're going to be starting with that paddling forwards, the same exercise we started with on the previous block. So paddling around just like so. Fast as you can in four, three, two, one. Off we go. Let's get those arms going around the best you can here, nice and fast. Excellent work. And don't worry if it isn't as fast as me or you're going faster than me. Just do the best that you can do here. Keep it going. 15 seconds to go on this one. Excellent work, keeping it going. 10 seconds now, all the way through to the end. Don't let yourself drop off on the pace in the last four, three, two, one. Resting there, so resting down. There you go, straight forwards. That's the first one. We've got nine more of those to go. Next one, we're gonna do same movement, opposite direction. So just getting that heart rate up and getting through this. You'll find when you get to about four or five, you'll start to be breathing quite a bit heavier. You might already be, but yeah, when definitely when you get to sort of four or five, that's when you'll start to feel it a little bit more. So we're going three, two, one. Off we go, you get those arms going around again as fast as you can. When you feel like you're going as fast as you can, maybe go and try and go even faster. And then hold that pace there. Good, don't let yourself drop off now in this last 12 seconds of this 30, keep it going. All the way through, five, four, three, two, one. Resting there, good work, everybody. Now, don't want you easing off in that last three, two, one that we do. I want you powering right the way through to the, the end of it. Good, we do both arms together on the next one. 15 seconds more of your rest. And this is just enough rest to reset ourselves here. And we're going again in three, two, one. Off we go. Both arms together, going as fast as you can again. That's it. Fantastic. Keep it going. Halfway through. 10 seconds to go. Don't let yourself drop off. Now hold the pace you're doing all the way through. Excellent stuff. Three, two, one. Resting there, good. And I didn't explain, but yeah, if we if we've got the pole, it's the same movements as we did before. So you adapt it the way you did previously. Okay. Same movement, opposite direction. 10 seconds left of our rest. Good start to these three. Let's keep it going. In four, three, two, one. Off we go. Good work, keep going. Keep pushing it. All the way through. Excellent work so far. We're halfway through. Keep that pace up as we go through this last 10 seconds now. Nice work. And four, three, two, one. Resting there, good, okay. We will go on to the punching forwards, alternating hands on the next one. A really good start to this. Let's keep that effort level high. 
Keep those arms pumping the best we can. So alternating hands punching forwards. We are going in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. And again, it doesn't need to look pretty. It just needs to be fast, hard work. If you feel like you look silly, don't worry, you do, but we all do. So it's a Excellent work. Keep it going all the way through here. And four, three, two, one. Resting there. Good work. Okay, we've got another one coming up. Same as for punching forwards, but we're punching up instead. A little bit more. Halfway through our rest. Good work. So punching up the best you can here in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go. Don't worry if it's not fully above your head, fully extended. Just get those arms moving nice and fast. Good work. Halfway through. Ten seconds to go. Feeling that burn potentially in the shoulders. Three, two, one. Resting there. Good work so far. We have got four more to go here on the next one. We are going to be moving into circles in a clockwise direction. Ten seconds left of our rest. So clockwise direction. Staying maximum effort in four, three, two, one. Well, Off we go. And you may notice before each 30, I do just a, a couple of them. That's just to get my speed up. So as soon as that second, first second comes around, I'm already hit the ground running and going at that maximum pace. That's what I'm doing there. You can join with me to do the same if you want to. But we're going to keep that pace up all the way through here. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Good. Okay, opposite direction. Anti-clockwise. Fifteen seconds left for our rest. Doing fantastic. All the way through another one, which we'll be doing in three, two, one. Off we go. Number eight. Let's go. Good work, everybody. Keep those arms going around the best you can. Halfway through. Keep it going all the way here. Four, three, two, one. Resting there. Nice work. Two more to go. On these two, we do our canoeing to the side. First to the left. This one can be a little bit awkward to go fast with, so just do the best you can with it. It doesn't have to look perfect. Three, two, one, off we go. Yeah, and just the best you can effort-wise, getting that, those arms moving. Imagine you're paddling as fast as you can in a boat. Excellent work. Halfway through. Nice work all the way here. Five, four, three, two, one. Resting there. Nice. Switching over to the other side. And we're going into the last one of the 10 here. Really great work so far. Let's finish these 10 off well in this last one. 
And then we have a short break again and we go into the next bit after that. And we're going in five, four, three, two, one, off we go. Nice work, everybody. Keep those going best you can. Halfway through. Four, three, two, one. Rest in there. Good work, everybody. You can uh, pop your poles down for a bit here. We Depending on the time, we may be using them again. But we'll have a little drinks break here. And then I'll explain the next bit, which we will be doing a little bit of core work on this next little bit. So we'll be bringing that energy down a little bit, but we'll be doing some more controlled, focused core movements. And uh, apologies that the lighting isn't great. I'm in a hotel room uh, this week just while I'm traveling, but next week I'll be back in an apartment and I'll have all my proper lighting set up so you can see me without all the shadows on my face. <laughs> You've got like a one tiny little spotlight in here, so. Hey, let me get, oh, I don't need the timer. Okay, so we're gonna just be doing some really basic movements here. And again, just doing the best you can with it. And I'm gonna give you some adaptations as we go through, but we'll be working on some of the muscles here in our core. Now, when it comes to our core exercises, um, most of the ones you'll see, like post online by uh, for able-bodied individuals, um, is stuff like sit-ups and all those kind of stuff, which is, for most of us in wheelchairs, completely impossible to get into the position, let alone do the movement. So we go do a basic version of this. Some of you may have good core function and may find this quite easy. So I'm going to give you a few little adaptations to make it harder as well. Some of you may find this quite difficult to do each movement. We, as I say, we've got a, quite a wide range, and especially when it comes to our core movement, that's probably where it is our widest range of ability levels. Um, so we just do the best we can with it. My core isn't fantastic, so my demonstrations aren't always the best, but we, we try to do what we can, what we got. So the first one here is going to be working on our obliques on the side. It's quite simple. We bend down to one side. And then instead of trying to use the momentum to come back up, we try and use those back muscles, the core muscles, to pull ourselves back into the line. Once we've done one side, simply go down to the other side and then pull ourselves back into the line. And what I want you to do is to focus on literally trying to pull yourself back up rather than, because it's quite easy here, I could just swing one arm out and then I just come back up naturally. And then, but yeah, sorry, my internet dropped out for a second. I'll repeat that just in case you can hear it. Uh, so yeah, we want to pull ourselves up each time because if I go over to one side, I could put one arm out and then naturally my body comes up, but I'm not working there. I want to really try and use those core muscles to pull yourself up. Now, if this one's too difficult, we can always assist a little bit with the opposite hand to help us come up. Or if it's too easy, then we can just put both hands down to one side and then pull up, which oh, I just talk for myself. So you can put both arms down if it's easy because you're putting more weight on the side that you're trying to work here. Yeah, we don't need to go really far down. Just go to where it feels comfortable and where you feel like you can bring yourself back up in line. And you can see where doing stuff like this could be beneficial. I mean, I literally had to do this. I dropped a, a coin on the floor and I was bending down trying to pick this up yesterday. Fun enough, trying to use a vending machine. Um, <laughs> Tried to put the coin in, flipped out, went on the floor. Tried to pick it up. Ticket dropped on the floor as I did it. So I had to bend back down, do it again. So yeah, the training came in handy yesterday. Good. Well, let's ease out of that one to make whichever one you're on the last one. 
We're going to do a very similar movement, but we're going to do, instead of going side to side, we're going to go forwards and back up. So again, I'll show you the variation. So we come down and then raise back up again. And you've got some options there. So you can just do it down and up. If that's too difficult, you can use your hands a little bit to assist, but to use them as little as you can. But if you want to make it harder, you can raise your hands up. And the higher your hands are, as you do this, the harder this is going to be. So adjust it as you need to. For example, if I go down like this, I can just about do it. But if I put my hands up here, yeah, no, that's, <laughs> I'm not moving up. So yeah, you can find your limit of where it feels like the right place for yourself. And I'm not counting exactly here, but we're roughly doing 30 on. So we did 30 one side, 30 the other, and then we're doing 30 forwards, roughly. Um, we're all at different paces here, and that is fine. Right, we'll do one more here. Excellent. Once you've done that last one, we're going to go into back doing side side again to so working on the side muscles there. And again, the one, the adaptations that we said before, if you need to hold on or if you need to put both hands down to make it easier or harder, respectively. Do what you need to. You know, if you're um, wanting to do these sort of exercises outside of this session and, you know, you wanted to make it even harder, if that's something you need to, you can always grab a weight in one hand and then bend down and then come back up. I would do one side and then switch the weight over because I see some some people do it and they got both in one hand and then one cancels out the other because it's kind of, you know, the other one pulls yourself back up as you go down. So if you are going to do this with a weight, for example, you can uh, just do one side, do your repetitions, then swap over. So I know a few of you like to do the sessions outside where it's following the ones that have been put up on YouTube through gathering strength or um, just memorizing it, I guess. Excellent work. So just using those core muscles. And these are fairly gentle core exercises in terms of the overall stuff, but it doesn't mean it's going to be easy for all of us. Um, there's going to be some that find this more difficult than others. So that's why we give you those adaptations to make it harder or easier as you go through these. And we do have another type of core exercise, which we'll be doing next week. This week, we're keeping it nice and simple with these ones. Yeah, let's go into forwards again now. In forwards, raising up. That first one, I cheated a little bit. I had a spasm help me on the way up. Well, that one was easy. <laughs> There's lots of different ways this can be helpful, not just as I mentioned, picking stuff off the floor, but maybe you're in um, a public toilet, you got to reach and flush it. Or if you've got to uh, pick something off the shelf in a supermarket. Or even open up a door. 
These are all times that we need a good core to keep ourselves nice and stable. Excellent. Let's make one more here. Good. Excellent work. And okay, we could do a little bit more fast work here, and then we will go into our recovery. So let me just set up this. Just be a lot, little sharp, sharp, short, little last bit here. We're we'll getting the heart rate up. But whilst I'm doing this. I'll explain why the core exercise is important. As I said, it relates to exercises we do, or like everyday exercises, like, like I mentioned already. But also it's good for power transference. So imagine you had a hammer. If you've got a strong wooden handle, that's like a strong core. You can transfer all the power into every single time you hit a nail. That power gets transferred through when you, you have less hits. But if that handle is made out of rubber every you know the power isn't going to be able to transfer as easily could be flopping about all over the place you might not even hit it so having a strong core is like having a strong handle on your hammer it's not necessarily doing the work it's supporting everything else that's happening in your body so the strong core helps to keep ourselves nice and stable keep our spine strong as we're reaching and able to be able to do things and that doesn't necessarily have to be a very physically active thing like a basketball shot for example it can be something as simple as eating your food and having your core support you throughout that or um as a reaching and opening a door small little activities but it can really help support that but i won't go on too much because i want to get this done now we're going to go through uh our, with our pole again so if you could grab that and we're just going to do a short little bit here we're going to do 20 seconds of work 20 seconds of rest six times and that will finish off for the hard work for today's session. Going in 15 seconds time, and we'll start with that paddling forwards again for the first one. Are you ready? So last little short, sharp bit of hard work. Off we go in three, two, one. That's How are we going? Getting those arms moving as fast as you can again. Good work. So last little bits here, just to finish off, because got a little bit of extra time. Good, 10 seconds to go, all the way through here. Fantastic. Three, two, one, resting there. Good, first one of six done. Backwards now in five, four, three, two, one. Off we go again, as fast as you can. Good work, keep it going. Getting that heart rate up one last time here for these six. Good stuff. And five, four, three, two, one. Resting there. Both arms round together. And four, three, two, one, off we go. This way, 10 seconds to go. Three, two, one, resting there. Nice work. Three done, three to go. Let's make sure we finish off this really well here. Last little bits. And five, four, three, two, one, off to go. Good work, keep going, keep pushing it. Halfway through. Three, two, one, resting there. Two more to go. The next one we're going to do both arms forwards, both arms up, repeating through that. 
and five, four, three, two, one, off you go. Good work here, keep it going, keep pushing it. Three, two, one, resting there. And one last one, which on the last one, you can choose what you want to do exercise wise. If you don't know what to choose, you can follow along with me. I'm going to do some alternating punches forwards to finish. But if you want to do a different exercise, go for it. We're going in three. Two, one, off we go. Nice work, keep going all the way through to the end. This is our last bit of hard work. Let's make sure it counts all the way through to the end. And five, four, three, two, one, resting there. Good work, everybody. You can pop your poles down and Grab a drink if you need to. Once you've had your drink or whenever you're ready to, you can start with some nice deep breathing going in through the nose, out through the mouth, and just trying to relax down there. First of all, just get, get that breath under control. Yeah, whilst you're just doing that breathing, I'll just say with the pulse, um, it, for those who didn't have a pole today, that's not a problem. Uh, you can just use anything that you can sort of hold shoulder width apart that remotely looks like a pole, or but it could be something like a towel even. It doesn't necessarily be rigid. It could be a T-shirt, just something that you can hold. It just helps to um, do some of those movements and make it a little bit more creative and interesting. But if you don't want to use a pole or you can't hold onto something, Never a problem. Good. The last couple of minutes here, we're just going to do some mobility through our spine. We're going to start with our neck and just doing some looking up, looking down, and gently glide between those two positions. So you look up, look down, nice and gentle, nice controlled. Let's go into some rotation now. So look one side, then look the other, and go back and forth. And then go one ear to one shoulder, one to the other, back and forth between the two. And, the work. and then giving ourselves a nice little shake off as we finish today's session. Excellent work there, everybody.